In this episode, we look at rank 4 tanks from Germany and which tanks I would choose to get you through the grind. Coming in at number 5 is the Jagdpanther G1. Well, this is a personal favourite of mine. Situated on the battle rating of 6.3, it is a phenomenal tank destroyer. Although it doesn't have a turret, that's why they call it a tank destroyer. It is a phenomenal tank because it houses a 88mm KWK-43 cannon. That is why this tank destroyer should be part of your lineup. You have to do this first with the G1. Easy pickings, taking them out. Which is also a little bit... Oh, look at that long day. Let's see how good we can snipe. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's a lovely sight to behold. There we go. That's what it is. It's a sniper. The way to play the Jagdpanther G1 is simple. Distance. That's what you need. Put enough distance between you and your enemy and you'll be fine. Do not go up close with this tank. You will get flanked and you will get taken out pretty quickly. So I would recommend using this as purely as a sniper. There's a G1 premium version that you can pick up which will help you with the research points and silver lions farming. Consider that one as well. So coming in at number 4, it's a medium tank favourite of mine, it's the Panther F. Some may disagree, some may agree that they like the other Panthers, fine. Whatever's yours is yours, you can go for whatever one you want. They're all classed at 6.0 in any case, except for the first one, which is the Panther D. Anyway, moving on, the reason why I do like the Panther F the most is because it's got a really good cannon, it doesn't have a shot trap like with some of the other Panthers, and it is pretty mobile on the battlefield as well. It has got a really good 75mm KWK-44 cannon. High velocity, hits hard, does the job. The only thing that I have to admit here, though it has got the most armor out of the lot, it's still a little bit squishy when it comes to the battle rating of 6.3 or 6.7 because you most likely will have a Tiger II with you. There we go, drop the one. Should have enough velocity to penetrate through that tank, but I think that tank's dead already. Oh no, it's not. It's getting hit again. Alright, let's move on. See, that's the nice thing about this Panther, right? I mean, it's it's got the angled armor that helps you out a little bit. Has he not killed this guy yet? Oh wow, okay, hold on. Show you how it's done. There we go. Unfortunately, didn't notice that. So the best way to play the Panther F is you kind of need to angle it a little bit. It's a really good tank when it comes to about medium range to long range engagements because you've got that really good cannon. Don't get up too close with the Panther because they will take you down. Its turret rotation on the end of the day is not as quick as what most conventional tanks have at this specific battle rating. So bear in mind, at 6.0 it's a dream to play. When you're playing at 6.7 or at 6.3 it gets a little tough. So be careful when going out with a panther. I would personally recommend play long distance. So with every single top 5 I want to introduce a light tank as well that's worthwhile. This one though steps out of the World War II spectrum and into the Cold War. 
It is the Ali KPZ M41. At number 3, this is a very good tank to use. At the battle rating of 6.7, you have to be nimble, quick and all over the place. It also introduces heat FS shells, which is really great to have, that penetrates pretty much any serious tank. The whole catch about this game is to make sure that you're spotting. Sneak in, sneak by, there we go. That is the secret sauce to this tank. Everything in fact has got to do with just being, like you have to be extremely ratty with this tank. Scout the, scout the target, back out. Wait for your opportunity. That's what you do. Your opportunity will come. And if you're in a position like this one, try not to get yourself blown up. But it's all about elements of surprise and ensuring that you're not gonna get destroyed on the first go. See, as you can see, right now, I'm not, I'm not playing any aggressive moves. I can see there's a tank right here, there's the Terriel sticking out. But I'm not gonna engage, right? I'm just gonna sc scout the target for the heavier guys, pick up the extra points if necessary, because remember, you're grinding, right? So the way to play the M41 is simple. You don't snipe and you don't brawl with it. What you need to do is capture flags and spot the enemy. That's your main objective in this light vehicle. Although it might be a light vehicle, it does pack a punch, but you want to focus on the two primary objectives first before trying to engage head on. So I would recommend stay clear from brawling or stay clear from taking on a tank head to head. So coming in at number two, this one was a close one with the Ferdinand, but I chose this one just purely because it's iconic. It's the Yag Tiger or the Yag Tiger. This one is an absolute monster. Coming in at 6.7, the battle rating, this tank is almost impenetrable, at least from the front. From the sides, you are weak. And unfortunately, the downside to this tank is that it's slow. It packs a huge punch. I mean, it's got an absolutely crazy 128mm cannon. So, whatever it's going to shoot, it's going to destroy. way to play this tank is to stay as far back as possible you're slow so don't even bother trying to be first of the pack in front to try and brawl it's not going to work for you and secondly your reload time is atrocious you take forever to reload so i would just recommend sitting right all the way back with the Tiger and taking the shot as a sniper when you actually hit your target with this thing it will be a one shot kill almost guaranteed this thing is a monster when it comes to that shell so at 6.7 here is your ultimate sniper i would say it's got good frontal protection so you can kind of sit and judge your shot and take your time a little bit before taking that shot because i would probably say about 80 percent of players will not know how to penetrate you And last but not least at number one it is the tiger 2h well in this case it's the tiger 2h sla 16 
And why is this one so significant? This is your number one premium tank to go for in this rank. This one is phenomenal to play. I love playing the Tiger 2s. It's got a great 88mm cannon on it. It's pretty quick across the planes. Its turret rotation is also pretty solid. And of course, it can bounce a shot or two. that being said there are a few differences in terms of how to play this tank you see when you look at a tiger 2 straight off the bat you think to yourself all right it's time for us to go brawl and get into the mess of things to be honest that's not exactly how you want to play this tank what you want to do is you want to just back off a little bit and kind of play the medium to long range game with it because you've got that 88 millimeter cannon you can pretty much take out anyone from a distance and the other fact is that it is multi-purposed which means that you can actually go brawl with it if you really want to i wouldn't recommend it if you're a little bit of an amateur at the game if you are though a seasoned veteran of course you know what to do with this tank so there we have it ladies and gentlemen that is the top five from my side on what i would pick when grinding out rank number four speaking of tiger 2 tanks there was actually one that i reviewed uh, not so long ago that was very similar to the tiger 2h Check this video out if you want to know more.